When you're putting a team together, culture is one of the biggest things that coaches run up against right away. And the big thing to know is that if you don't build your culture, somebody else is going to build it for you. So do you want them instilling their values or having say in your program, even though you didn't really invite it? So culture is definitely huge. The question specifically was, how do you go ahead and you build that? How do you put it in place? And I think there's a couple of ways you do it. First, uh, look at it from the whole program. In the program, you want to make sure that you and your coaches are on the same page and that you're saying a similar message to your players all the time. So it could be about effort, it could be about attitude, it could be just how you do things off the court, on the court. There has to be a similar message that's being conveyed all the way through. So that's one way. The other way is getting your teams together. So let's say it's at the high school level, your ninth graders, your JV, and your varsity team, get them together to do something. It might be a fundraising event. Uh, we like to do a little competition between the teams. Uh, it's kind of a minute to win it style event. And you have them compete against each other in a fun way. And it's something that everybody has a chance to be good or bad at because it's kind of just silly stuff. Uh, the other way we do it is sometimes you bring all your teams together. It might be for a speaker, it might be for an activity or uh, a retreat, a team camp, whatever it is. The more you bring guys together, your older players are going to be able to demonstrate and convey what is accepted, what's not accepted, how we handle ourselves in certain situations. So those are a couple things program-wide. But when you're dealing specifically with your team, I think the first thing that you got to keep in mind with culture is the words that you say are important, but the actions that you put behind those words are even more important. So I saw a coach uh, online the other day said he was putting together a list or a contract for his players to sign. And while I don't think there's anything wrong with having a contract for a player to sign, having a list of rules isn't going to set your culture but having some expectations that everyone knows and then backing those up with certain actions is definitely going to set your culture. Now one thing we've done in the past is we brought in a speaker, kind of walked us through coming up with the core values that the team has and I think that's really important to do because those players decide what their values are going to be and since they picked them they're taking ownership of them. It's my job then to take that and Go ahead and put that in place in what we say and what we do. So you guys said our, one of our values was hard work. How are we demonstrating that in practice? How did we demonstrate that in a game? Or we're going to be selfless players. So we're not worried about ourself first. Does that mean only on the court? Or are we talking about when we're in school? Is that what we're talking about at the lunch table, in the classroom? And how are you demonstrating that? I think when you ask that question of how and why to your parent, to your players, uh, that can go a long ways. You also can reinforce that with your parents and say, look, these are the things that guys came up with the, and these are the things that we want our program to be known for and this team to be known for. So that's another way that you can do it. But going back to what you say and how you respond and how you act in certain situations is huge. If you're telling your players uh, to play fair, uh, no trash talking, but then you're on the sidelines yelling and screaming and talking about the refs in the locker room and how bad they are and you're talking about how horrible a, a certain opponent is, well, all the words you said were right, but what you did took over all that. It, it basically uh, made it so it didn't matter. And I think that's a huge place where coaches can kind of just do a self-check and say, is what I'm doing reflecting what I'm saying? Because that's where the culture is built. When you pull a player in to say, we need to talk about your attitude or, hey, I really loved your effort, that's when the culture is being set. Not when you came up with the 10 things that they could do, with the expectations, with the consequences, when you brought the speaker in. Those things aren't bad to do, but those things aren't culture setting behaviors. Those things just get the ball rolling. And sometimes I think we get the ball rolling and then we put it up on a shelf and we leave it there. And it doesn't do us any good. We need to make sure that we get it rolling and we keep it rolling, get some momentum. And that's how you're going to build culture. So hopefully this answers the coach's question uh, and it'll help you in your program, whether you're starting out or whether you're just trying to define with a new group of guys what's going on, what's the expectation. Get the ball rolling with an activity. Bring all your players together to do something. Make sure that you're saying and you're reinforcing the things that they came up with or that you came up with 
but then most importantly is that you're making sure your actions and their actions match up with it by asking how do I do this how did they do this why am I doing this or why are they doing that and get them to buy in and get some dialogue going that's when you create you create your culture and it's going to be set in a way that people will recognize it and say this is what they stand for because this is how they act